Hello there viewer! There are tons of different types of roller coasters all across the globe. You've got your wooden coasters, you've got your steel coasters, you can sit down on top of the track, you can sit down underneath the track, you can even say screw it and sit down to the side of the track. You can stand up on a coaster, be taken up a terrifyingly tall lift hill on a coaster, and you can even get a headache on a coaster. However, today we will be talking all about the type of roller coaster that doesn't necessarily need a lift hill but instead launches the train through the layout, and what happens when the train realises it has free will. Let's create a scenario when you wake up on a fine British morning. I said British morning. You get out of bed and enjoy a traditional English breakfast. After arriving at your local theme park and entering the queue to one of your coasters, you're eventually sitting down in a front row seat, pulling your over-the-shoulder restraint system down and buckling in for the ride. The lights go from a vibrant red to a dazzling green, as all of a sudden the train gets launched forward at a breathtaking speed, pushing you further into your seat and making you regret eating so many sausage and bean bakes an hour prior. The train races through the launch section of the track, flying past the bystanders that are looking up at you, waving your arms around like an idiot, and then before you know it, you're shooting vertically up the iconic top hat element. For just those few seconds, all is peaceful and calm, giving you amazing views of the distant city of London. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey! However, the train reaches a snail's pace and all of a sudden begins to hurtle backwards down the top hat, picking up speed by the second. You think to yourself if this is it, how long it will take, how painful it will be, and most importantly, why can't the Tesco meal deal price go back to being three pounds? Everything is fine because what you just experienced is known as a rollback and it's actually pretty sought after. In fact, most enthusiasts you'll meet would probably say the same thing, that getting a rollback on stealth, a different intermin accelerator or any launch coaster for that matter is actually a bucket list experience. So are rollbacks actually dangerous? Well, the simple answer is no. Rollbacks are technically possible on pretty much any roller coaster out there. However, most roller coasters are extensively designed to the point where it's pretty much safe to assume it will never experience a rollback and on the off chance it does, then the ride should safely activate an emergency stop and you'll just have to wait for the rescue service to help get everyone off the train that would have come to a stop somewhere on the track. But why would this happen at all? It pretty much comes down to other factors such as the temperature and most importantly the wind speeds that may affect the speed of a train and reduce its required speed for completing the layout, which is why ride operators have to close the coaster due to weather sometimes, as well as to reduce the risk of a thunderstorm striking you with a lightning bolt, of course. Me when your mom Roller coasters that contain launches and large elements such as a top hat, airtime hill or tall inversions have a much higher chance of experiencing a rollback due to how these elements require a very high and specific amount of speed to complete, which can be quite easily stopped by powerful gusts of wind. Now when I say a higher chance, I'd still like to clarify that it's still a rare occurrence and if it's a beautiful day with perfect weather conditions then it's near to impossible so there's not much point in even considering it as a possibility. However, they do happen and it's something that the rides are completely prepared for. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, we're going backwards. Oh! An easy example would be to look at the designs of a launch section of track on something such as an Intermin or Mac coaster. You'll be able to easily notice a number of fins that are placed in a continuous pattern. These fins are what are known as LSMs that stand for Linear Synchronous Motors. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail as there's quite a few videos already out there that will do a much better job at explaining this than I would, but in short the fins interact with magnets that are connected on the underside of the trains so that when the train rolls along the track the magnets then pass next to the fins which take advantage of controlled magnetic fins fields which are used to both accelerate or decelerate the train. However, when taking a look at an older Intamin accelerator coaster model for example, these may only be used as the fail-safe braking mechanism that will kick in once the train has passed the launch section rather than the actual braking and the launch itself. This could be done by something such as a hydraulic launch system instead. In conclusion, rollbacks are commonly found on roller coasters that involve both a launch and a tool element, however can happen on any roller coaster given the circumstances. In any case though, this is something that the ride system is perfectly capable of sorting out and creating a safe experience for everyone on board so there's no reason to be afraid of the potential of this happening anytime soon. In fact you'll probably end up enjoying it more than anything and hey all it means is you get two rides for the price of queuing for one ride so I'd happily take that offer. If you've been lucky enough to experience a rollback yourself then why not boast about it in the comments below oh and whilst you're there you might as well subscribe which would be greatly appreciated. But other than that thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Really?